Hello, and welcome to In Your Bible. I'm your host, George W. Green. The Last Supper was not a Passover meal. Before we get into it, a quick reminder that Christians shouldn't be arguing about this topic. The differences that you and I have should not be the subject of arguments between believers. In order for you to understand and possibly appreciate what I'm, where I'm coming from, you have to first watch the two short videos I've already posted, Jesus Crucified on Wednesday. Uh, here's a quick peek at the chart that I built during those presentations. All right, I'll put links down in the description in the, uh, for those videos. In them, I present biblical evidence that Jesus was in the tomb prior to the start of Passover. To get started with this presentation, we all need to understand some of the requirements for the Passover meal. There were a few other requirements for Passover, but I'm only looking at the meal requirements. The first two things concern the date and time for the Passover meal. Um, the Passover meal was to be celebrated in the first month of the Jewish year, which is the month of Nisan. All right. The observance started at twilight on the 14th. Twilight is the start of a normal Jewish calendar day. So before twilight, it is the 13th, and then after the sun goes down, a new calendar day begins which is the 14th. It's important that you understand the difference in how the Jews tracked calendar days. I covered it in the previous two videos I mentioned. All right, something else. Um, they had to, concerning the Passover meal, they had to slaughter the sacrifice and then roast the sacrifice. After that, the Jews had to eat the sacrifice along with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Now that we understand some of the requirements of the Passover meal, let's take a close look at the bread that was eaten at the Last Supper. Okay, All four Gospels mention bread at the Last Supper. I won't read the entire verses, but I'll tell you where to find them. Uh, we've got uh, Matthew 26, 26. Um, you see it right, you can see it there. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, all right? We'll stop there, you can read the rest of it. Uh, then we'll go over to um, the book of Mark. And Mark, we see it in Mark chapter 14 through from verses 20 through verse 22. Bread is mentioned a couple of times. Um, he said to them, it is one of the 12 who is dipping bread into the dish with me. All right, um, then we have uh, in the book of uh, Luke, Luke chapter 22, uh, you can see it right there, and he took bread. Like I said, I'll let you look up the rest of that. Um, and then moving over to the Gospel of John, John uh, chapter 13, verse 18, you'll see bread is mentioned in there. And also in uh, John chapter 13, verse 26 is mentioned several times. So why? Am I pointing this out? I'm doing it because we all now understand that the Passover meal required unleavened bread. The requirement for unleavened bread was not optional. Okay, it had to be as God had prescribed, and we are to, we are correct. We are correct to expect that Jesus would be eating the Passover meal just as his father stated. That is, the correct date, the correct time, and the correct menu. But there seems to be a problem. All the quotes I shared about bread in, at the Last Supper, they were all regular bread, not unleavened bread. Each instance I quoted referred to regular bread. Both the Hebrew in the Old Testament and Greek in the New Testament have separate words for bread and unleavened bread. You might be missing the point. 
Jesus and the disciples were not eating unleavened bread because they were not observing the Passover. As I said earlier and proved in the previous lessons, Jesus was in the tomb prior to Passover. I understand that many will still be reluctant to accept what I'm saying. I get that. I have one more piece of evidence that will convince some of you. It was prophesied that Jesus would eat regular bread at the time someone would betray him. That was in, Jesus said this in John, or as recorded in John 13, 18, and then here's the prophecy. The prophecy was in Psalm 41, verse 8, all right? And it says, even my close friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted his heel against me. Yes, this bread is also just regular bread. In conclusion, the Last Supper was not a Passover observance. The bread they all ate, including Jesus, was regular bread. Jesus was already in the tomb at the start of Passover. I've got more to share about the Last Supper. In the next video, I'll take a look at what Jesus really meant when he said, Do this in remembrance of me. Thank you for joining me.